Good day, grade 9 learners! We are now on the 6th week of quarter 1 and I hope that you are still enjoying our English class. This video will emphasize our last lesson for this quarter, which is about employing appropriate communicative styles. We will learn the different communication styles that we use to different kinds of people in different situations. The way we speak with our friends or our classmates is totally different from the way we converse with our parents or teachers, right? Thus, it is important to distinguish the different communication styles. If you are ready, let's begin learning. What is communicative style? A communicative style portrays how a language is characterized in terms of degree of formality. Different situations and people call for different language styles. Let's compare these two. Who do you think are the people talking? In the first sentence, we can say that someone is talking to his friend, right? On the second one, an applicant is talking to a principal or an admin of a particular school. Now, which is more formal? Yes, it's the second one. Different situations, different people, different places will always call for a specific degree of formality. What are the five types of communicative styles? The first one is casual. This register is conversational in tone. It is the language used among and between friends. In here, slang and colloquialisms are used. This uses group language so only members of the group can understand it. Here, nicknames are also used in addressing one another. Examples The second type is consultative. This is used in a semi-formal communication where sentences tend to be shorter and spontaneous. It happens in two-way participation. It also uses an unplanned speech. This is the style used when consulting an expert such as a doctor. The speaker is likely to address the expert by a title such as Dr., Mr., or Mrs. Examples The third one is formal. Formal speeches are straightforward speeches. It is used in speaking to large groups and is impersonal in nature. Speaker must frame whole sentences ahead before they are delivered. So in here, speeches are being planned by the speaker. Examples? The fourth one is frozen. From the word itself, this type of communicative style rarely or never changes. It is frozen or static in time and content. Examples are And number five, intimate. This type of communicative style applies to experiences between and or among people who share intimate relationships. Usually done in private, this also shows no social boundaries among the speakers, considering their intimacy. This also employs informal and intimate language. Examples I am sure you can now distinguish the different communication styles. If that's the case, then it's now time for us to test your understanding. You tell me what type of communicative style is used, if it is casual, consultative, formal, frozen, or intimate. Let's start! Number 1. What do you think will I do next, ma'am?
The correct answer is consultative. We can say that a student is consulting his or her teacher on what to do next. Number two. Dude, are you guys free on Friday night? This one makes use of casual style. This is a conversation of friends, and it's also because of the words used, such as dude and guys. Number three. You know what? I really enjoyed our movie date today. This one is intimate kind of communication. Number four. Sir, can I ask your opinion about the course I am about to take up? This is obviously consultative. And number five, you may kiss the bride. This is frozen as it does not change in time and content. You did a great job, grade nine. Always remember that appropriate communicative style depends upon the person we are speaking with and the situation we are in. Thank you for watching and see you next quarter!